if we were told to create a three option slide generally our slide looks something like this you know simple nothing is there just you put option one and then all the text there the option two and option three instead of creating the slide something like this let's do something meaningful and more informative way so uh, this is the slide which i've converted from this to something this one you can see here this is the option one then this is the option two and this is the option three so you can see the difference from this slide to this slide so try to uh, create the slides uh, in a more innovative way so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the frame draw the frame by holding the shift key so you get a perfect square shape you can see here and then you can see a small orange point you can just drag it inside so that you can get the width you can see here and then shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to give some 3d effect for that right mouse click go to format shape and go to effects under effects go to 3d rotation and you can see here off axis one right just click it and then go to 3d format and you can give the depth maybe 20 or i can give maybe 50 you can see here or if you want you can give further also maybe you can give 90 also it comes it looks something like this and again if you want to adjust the width you can just adjust it something like this and then if you want to change the color of any your choice you can just change it something like this and once this is done i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d you can see here duplicate this and change the color to some other color of your choice and then again this one the 3d rotation i'm just going to change from this to something this one isometric right up so it looks something like this and send this to back you can see here send this to back and just put it like this and press ctrl d one more and i'm going to change the direction to this which is off axis one left and i'm going to change the color to some other color kind kind of purple or something and this also you just send this to back so you can see here the three designs are ready the three boxes are ready just sorry bring it up you can see here and then if you want you can just add some icons inside this so before adding the icons i need to add one more shape for that let me just go to insert shapes select the rectangle again hold the shift key you can see here shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give the same rotation effect i'm going to select this one which we have selected off axis one right you can see here and you want you can give some different color and just place it here let me just give some different color so that you know exactly what i'm trying to do let me just zoom in and i'm going to put it here and reduce the size you can see here and make sure that it looks something like this you can see here and then i can select this press ctrl d and again change the direction to this to match this one then again zoom in and again place it exactly like this so it should look like it's it's inside the box and again ctrl d and change the direction to this and then again just zoom it and put it exactly align it properly so it looks something like this so once this is done i can just simply go to insert icons if you have the icons this is available only in the latest version of powerpoint so i'm just selecting three icons and if you want icons i have provided on my channel you can just go and search it and i'm going to make the height and width as 0.6 you can see here and i'm going to place one by one here but here the direction again i need to change the direction to match this one again this one for this and this is this one so you can see here it is perfectly aligned and you can give the same color you can see here sorry i have to give a blue and then i have to give some purple color or pink color and this one you can just change the color so that it will be more visible make it white so once this is done yes uh, it's a matter of add the text 
so before i add the text let me just group it i'm just going to select this press ctrl g you can see here that i'm going to select the second option ctrl g and the third option ctrl g then go to insert text box you can just put option this is maybe three or one whichever way you want you can make it bold and give the same color you can see here this is option three press ctrl d to duplicate this is option two color change it to match the box and ctrl d and this is option one and this would be a pink color and go to insert text box you can add some detailed text here okay so reduce the size maybe you can give some gray color you can add it here press ctrl d and that's it so you can see a basic design is ready it's time to do some uh, small animation effect to this so go to the animations enable the animation pane close the format background and i'm going to select this first option and i'm going to say fly in fly in i want from top just double click the animation and make it more faster it is very fast then effect i'm going to increase the bounce and you can see here it comes something like this and then i'm going to use some small animation maybe wipe effect maybe from left and this should be after previous and this also you can give a wipe effect maybe with previous so if i play it comes something like this so now it's easy i'm just going to select this one click on this then again using the animation painter this one and again i'm going to do this then the third box comes something like this and then that's it so if i play the animation it comes something like this you can see here so this is the simplest way you can create this particular slide 